Hello and welcome to Bobdale Gloves Sports here on Shaw TV. I'm Jordan Greenlee. The Edmonton Eskimos are continuing their impressive first half run to this season, considering the amount of new faces in the locker room. One of those new faces has been making a big impact both defensively and in the kick return game. We meet Joe Burnett. Yeah, Joe's been a real good addition. First of all, he's a good young man, and uh, you know his play is is in is improving um, every week he goes out. So that's that's a really good thing. Yeah, I, I don't know uh, what it is about him, but uh, the ball seems to find them you know sometimes he's not even in the right place and it finds them you know so uh you know it's always better to be lucky than good sometimes Burnett leads the team in interceptions and is a top five tackler for the Esks too another common trait associated with number 22 is big game changing plays like this one recently against the Rough Riders well with, with Saskatchewan you know coming in I they're a great team but it, you know we we pride on turnovers. You got to get the ball back. You got to do do something. CT came down and made a great hit. Maso was in pursuit or whatnot. A great hit, and I was just there. The ball fell in my lap, picked it up from there, and I knew I had to get punched in for six. So it was it was one where everyone contributed once again, you know. And that's that's our mentality of defense. Aside from his impact defensively, Burnett has also brought a much-needed spark to the Eskimos' return game in his rookie season. He contributes that to a bond built in camp with an Eskimo legend in that department, the Giz. Yeah, he, he was awesome, man. He, he was, that was Gizmo, you know, and um, I didn't know much about him until I got here. I think we watched a clip on him, and I saw him break one, then did a flip in the end zone, and at that point, you know, I, oh, who is that guy? And then next thing you know, he was at training camp, and... You know, I was in his back pocket from there, you know, learning everything I can, ask him this and ask him that. Being here with Gizmo is just, it's awesome, you know, because he, the little things that I didn't know, he just helped me with it, just judging the flight of the ball, you know, being able to get a jump off the kicker once he's kicking it or whatnot, and, um, and, and from there, just returning the ball, you know, he was phenomenal. So it's a privilege to be able to um, learn from him and, and pick his brain or whatnot and continue to grow. Joe is a very smart player. Uh, he plays, he come to play all the time. And like Kavi say, he's a big play maker. He's not scared and he's catching the ball. He uh, have good vision. He can see the, you know, the lanes a lot of times. And that's one of the things that when you're trying to teach a punt returner, you know, can you see the hold a lot? And Joe can see the hold. Did you expect this much growth to come out of your first year in the Canadian Football League? I did. I, I, I actually, um, I, I, I hire my standards for myself, you know, I, I play above average and I try to go out and um, compete with the best, you know, each and every day. So I put a lot on my shoulders and, um, and I try to always, always finish what I say I can do and will do. For any more information on the Eskimos, including schedule, stats and scores, you can go to esks.com. That'll do it for Bob Dale Gloves Sports here on Shaw TV, but stay tuned, there's lots more to come on the program. Dana Giesbrecht will be back after the break. And now we'll look at some sporting events happening in and around the city this weekend. In AJHL exhibition action, the Crusaders host the Oil Barons in the first preseason game of the season for both teams, Friday night at the Sherwood Park Arena. Then on Saturday, the crew will be back on the ice, this time hosting the Spruce Grove Saints, also at 7 p.m. And in Prairie Football Conference action Sunday afternoon, the Wildcats host the Colts in the Battle of Alberta with a 2 p.m. kickoff. 